Today on the channel from AEW Match Series 9, we got the return of Brian Danielson. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Unmatched Series 9 unboxing and review and today on the channel we got no stranger to the line we got the return of Brian Danielson but for all your Brian Danielson needs and a whole lot more make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and Brian Danielson no stranger to this toy line at all at this point just recently we unboxed a Target exclusive uh, from the Revolution pay-per-view we unboxed the Jazzwares Vault exclusive Ring of Honor throwback figure. I believe there was a two-pack we unboxed, and then, of course, his first figure as well. So getting a lot of Brian Danielson figures in the line. However, this one feels a little bit different as it is more street gear related. I believe this is debut attire. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what this is here. And, of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado... Let's see what old Brian's up to here. He's got his best white shirt on right there. He went to the back of his closet and said, where's my Hanes white t-shirts? Got those going on. And then he's got some kind of khaki, uh, I don't know, lime green, pea green pants going there. Get a microphone, a couple extra hands, and there he is. Putting up the old Duke next to the face. A very interesting packaging there. I don't know if you can see it. It's weird in the waist, the way he's angled in here. I do like the creativity of putting a display of a figure in the mid-on card like Mattel used to do back in the Elite line, the early infancy. I like things that are displayed in package like this. It gives a little extra pizzazz to the mid-on card collector, of course. He is number 67 in the unmatched line. Of course, this is Series 9. All Elite Wrestling on the side over there. Then on the back, there he is in that famed white t-shirt. Oh, one of the best white t-shirts you'll ever see. AEW logo as well. Got the cross sell down below. Moxley, Yuta, Reynolds, Claudio Castagnoli times two. Jeff Hardy and Jamie Hayter do make up Series 9. We're unboxing all these on the channel, so make sure you get in after it. Brian Danielson, all out, 9-5, 2021, Chicago, Illinois. So there it is, a throwback. Seems just like yesterday, but all so, oh so long ago. Better cut this out so I can get him out of the package, how about? There we go, cutting him out. We're ready to go. Let's see what street gear Brian Danielson's wearing here. No labels, no fancy shirts, just a white undershirt right here. That's all he's wearing. That's what he's rocking. Lost a hand. See you later. Spin on it. Goodbye. And there he is in the old plastic prison, looking interesting. And we're going to dissect him is what we're going to do right here. And we're going to start with the accessories per the norm. See you later. Goodbye once again. We do get the AEW microphone. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. Lots of microphones in this line, of course. AEW microphone right there. We do get two Fist of Fury out of the package. And then we get two splayed out hands going on here. So you can do some of this kind of stuff if you want to. And then you have the one gripping hand. You're going to need that if you want to use the microphone, as we know. But now we get old Brian Danielson here. And looking very strange. I don't know what's going on. I will tell you, it kind of looks like just the way the pants are, they're kind of bunched up there at the waist and the abs out there. It almost looks like he has kind of a little gut going on going on there. I don't know what's going on. It looks just a little strange with the white shirt. It's just like the perfect mix right there to make him look like he's a little bit frumpy in the midsection. But a plain white shirt going on, very plain. Great for customizers, I guess. You want a plain white shirt? There's your canvas, and it's blank. And then you get down to the head sculpt on this one. It just looks crazy with the glamour shot look like that. With the fist right against it. Very interesting look. I don't know what to think of this head sculpt. A lot of people are raving about it, and a lot of people did not like the AEW Revolution Target exclusive head sculpt. I think of first impressions, I'm the other way around. I really like that AEW Target Revolution brand new, Brian Danielson figure. I like the head sculpt on that one. This one looks a little crazy, a little bit long in the face, I would say. He's got the beard going on, but those big old choppers, those big old teeth, he's just showing off his dentist work is what he's doing here. 
but it just looks a little bit strange to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I do prefer the other one. And I guess choose your own head adventure at the end of the day, as we always do say. He's got his hair back there all uh, shaved on the sides, and he got a ponytail in the back looking interesting. Playing those human hits with the big mouth, the two eyes, the nose, and the ears. He's uh, rocking and rolling, strutting and strolling in the human department there. Looking very interesting. Now we get down to the shirt, of course, plain Jane White. Not a lot to write home about with that one there. Uh, two Fists of Fury, we went through the other hands. Then we get those kind of pea green color, I guess we'll call it there. You got a little writing on the inside of the thigh as well. Gets down to some nice tennis shoes here, which looks good. But the skin, which of course he didn't wear socks. I'm a socks guy. I can't wear shoes without socks. I'm a weirdo. I know, that's just the way I am. Uh, but it looks a little strange. It looks like he's got big old, like, cankles. Does he got some cankles going on? A little bit strange, but I do like the shoes. I like the tennis shoes. I think they look really good. Going to be interesting if he fits on a ringside stand with these shoes. I don't think we've seen this shoe mold before, but look at that. Fits perfectly on a stand for those keeping track at home. Of course, articulation arm is going to go all the way around for us. Bicep cut, double-jointed, pinned elbows, hands removable back and forth side to side, head removable back and forth side to side. Hula hoop plus abs, a little bit loose in the legs, I will say. I got a little looseness in these legs, but he does get the splits there if you need it. Legs do go up. Thigh cut, double jointed pin knees, boot cut, calf cut, whatever you want to call it. Ankles back far side to side, up and down. As I said, he does fit on a ringside collectible jazz wear stand for those keeping track at home. But an interesting one, a street gear, I guess, debut uh, Brian Danielson. Uh, maybe not going to be for everybody. Maybe it'll be for everybody. You guys can tell me. He's not going to stand without a stand. I can tell you that much. So I'm going to put him on there. An interesting looking figure. Very, very plain Jane. And I have to imagine if this was part of a Mattel line, this would probably be a basic Mattel figure. Uh, not a ton of meat on the bone for an elite. However, with the AEW Unmatched Unrivaled, no basics. This is where something like this is going to line up. Great for Brian Danielson fans. It is a magic moment if this is indeed, and I believe it is, his first uh, uh, representation in AEW TV. Now getting a figure, that makes a lot of sense. But it's a little strange, but at the same time, this is what he wears, so you can't really pick on it too much. There was no logo. It's not like he had a logo on this shirt and they took it off for this. It really is what it is. But we do got the second one, the one from Target. Figured I'd compare it to that. The two most uh, recent releases. I mean, I see his face in both of these for sure. I definitely do, but I still prefer this one, and I know people don't like it. I, I do, and I guess you like what you like. You don't what you don't. It is what it is, but you can easily swap these heads back and forth, and we'll do that for some of the glamour shots here. But it's an okay figure. Is it his best figure from AEW? No. It's a moment in time that is cool that it got it released. And, of course, once again, Brian Anderson, a popular performer, so it makes sense to get him out on a fairly regular basis. And, of course, he's uh, representing the BCC, as we do know, as the rest of this line. We've got a lot of his teammates in the line as well. Unfortunately, no William Regal. Would have been nice to have him. Not in the plans there, unfortunately. But a good, good-looking figure right here. One I'm here for, for what it is. When I dissect it down, it makes sense to me. But on the surface, I think we've had better figures from him as far as the AEW line goes and the Mattel line goes in the past. But good for what it is. But what say you guys and gals out there in YouTube land? Is this worth the pickup for you? A pass, a long game, a dreaded no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far, don't forget to like the video. Always helps to thumbs up the videos on the channel. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel. Don't forget about the Patreon with videos every single day. Plenty of bonus content, of course. That's the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at PressandTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And over there on Instagram. And of course, my book at Amazon and Barnes & Noble. The complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstars line. So for Brian Dan. Danielson, AEW Unmatched Series 9. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.